Hi, I'm Marty Switzer. Welcome to the WCM Quality Global Growth Portfolio and Performance Update for the quarter. With me today is our Head of Distribution, Al Dunn. G'day, Al. Hello, Marty. How are you? Very well, mate. So, how did the WCM Quality Global Growth Portfolio perform over the last quarter? Thanks, Marty. It was definitely a challenging quarter, but uh, as per previous periods of, of dislocation and sort of drawdown, the portfolio has held up incredibly well. If we use the unit trust, as an example, for the quarter, it was down minus 1.01% versus a market decline of minus 908 So circa 800 points of our performance there for the quarter. Our performance was almost 8%. Correct. What were the major contributors to this outperformance? Uh, the portfolio has always had a bias to large cap versus small cap stocks, and that helped. And then the high quality names that we hold versus some of the lower quality stocks in global markets definitely provided a positive tailwind through the quarter. At a sector level, underweight positions in energy and financials, two of the harder hit sectors, uh, and overweight exposure to the two best performing sectors being healthcare and tech, uh, contributed strongly to the relative outperformance for the quarter. In terms of names, the largest contrib contributions came from e-commerce platform Shopify, followed by Netflix, and two of the recent purchases added into the portfolio through the quarter being Ferrari and MSCI. And what com companies don't need detracted from the performance over the period? Yeah, there was, so the major detractors did come from the financials, financial sector, and they were the Indian Bank, HDFC, and First Republic Bank. And were there any significant changes to the portfolio? Over yeah, probably the most significant change was just the trading activity within the portfolio wow. uh, through the quarter and most particularly through March, um, as the manager took advantage of compelling long-term opportunities that the volatility was presenting. Uh, portfolio positions were built into companies like Ferrari, and the equity industry and portfolio analytics provider MSCI um, were amongst the new positions added. In terms of outright sales, uh, positions like Netflix, Compass Group and Steris were some of the names making way for some higher conviction positions through the quarter. And Danny, uh, last question, what's the team at WCM saying about the outlook right now? Look, they remain focused uh, on things as they would if, if through a normal environment, which is what you'd want from your manager namely finding businesses with expanding competitive advantages or economic modes as they are, and where possible a corporate culture that supports that advantage. So they don't claim to have a unique insight into, into what the next couple of quarters look like, but very confident in the positioning of the portfolio now, done now through this quarter for the next three to five years.